I'm Tina. And I'm Rob. And together we live in a 400 square foot condo in Vancouver, Canada. The space we have now is a very small one bedroom. In fact, the bedroom is literally the size of our bed. So we bought this place in December 2020. So it's going on just under three years that we've lived here. Moving into this space was a bit of an adjustment because we did downsize from a larger apartment. It was actually about twice the size of, of what we're in right now. And doing that was a bit of a conscious decision as well as out of necessity. So when we were looking for places in the Vancouver market, there wasn't really much that was affordable in our range. And so we decided that we were interested in living a more minimalist lifestyle to make this space work for us. Living in a small space is really teaching us to become masters at organizing and decluttering. I would say when you live in a small space, you don't have the luxury of being messy. So when we first moved in, we did a lot of thinking around everything that we're bringing in and whether or not it had a home and finding a home for it. And now the work is really in maintaining those homes for uh, the things that are important to us. Coming here was a bit of a challenge with regards to things. I really like my tech stuff and gadgets. Uh, I had bigger items, which thankfully we have a storage unit and that made it a little easier to begin this process. Yeah, the th thing I'm learning the most is the importance of intention when you buy things. And so my process now requires a lot more research and time deliberating. We kind of do regular audits of the things that we have and that, that's helped so far, but you have to stay on it. We really like to do a one in, one out rule where if we're bringing something in new, we agree to take something out and find a new home for it. When we made the decision to move here three years ago, we did it with the intention of not being here long term. This was a great opportunity. The timing was right to get into the market and we, we couldn't say no at the time. But in the three years since we've moved in here, the downsizing and keeping our life clutter free, we've both really fallen in love with that process and the benefits that come with it. So I think now anyway, we're, we have no intention of moving anytime soon. Welcome to our 400 square foot apartment. We're standing right now in the entryway. As you can see, it isn't very much, but we made a few small modifications to gain as much space as we could. So. Here we've got a, some room for keys as well as um, shoe storage. We also have a, a coat hook area. So basically just thinking about all of the things that we'll do right when we get into our home and having enough room to do those things. We're gonna take you into the bathroom next. And this was a complete overhaul. So we gutted this, it used to be all turquoise and we went with some neutral finishings and some matte black details. We gained storage by adding this IKEA shelving unit and it works really well for all of our toiletries and bathroom supplies. And the other place where we've added a lot of storage is under the sink. So keep a lot of our cleaning supplies, our hair products, basically anything else that didn't fit in the IKEA storage unit. Directly across from the bathroom is our hallway closet. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight space. We made a few modifications here with a hanger bar for our coats. And we also built this shoe rack to fit all of our shoes. Our second closet in our hallway is used for our washer dryer unit and not much else. As you can see, we have some storage bins up top. We really do try to make use of the space in the best way we can, every inch. And along the side, we have added some hooks for our mop and our broom and our vacuum. I'm gonna take you to the biggest part of the house now. This area includes our kitchen, our dining area, our living area, and our office all in one space. As you can see, we've really tried to separate the spaces by creating zones. So even though we don't have walls, we like to think that the space has many different uses and accommodates for them. 
Something we're really lucky about in this space is we have a fairly sizable kitchen for the size of the apartment. You'll notice that we have uh, full-sized appliances like the fridge and the stove. Something we did to open up the space is we actually um, took out a wall that used to be here. So there was a pony wall that extended from about the height of the stove clear across to the middle of the dining table. And by taking that out, we cleared so much space, it enabled us to put a dining set in the middle of the room, which we think was really the best use of the space. When it comes to the living room, we aimed for light and neutral colors and smaller pieces of furniture. We really wanted to avoid overwhelming this space as it is quite small. This is our office nook where I work three days a week. It was really hard to find a desk to fit this little space, so Rob actually custom made this one. It has a shelf underneath for some office supplies. We also use this storage tower for additional office supplies and Rob's tech stuff. We've reached the very last part of the house now, which is the bedroom. We kept the design features pretty simple in here. That's some DIY art on the wall. And we also hung a lamp to be able to gain some extra space on our side table. As you can see, it is quite small. A queen size bed pretty much takes up the whole space. And you can kind of only have one person in here at a time. And I'll show you why. When you open this, you really can't leave. The bedroom closet performs a lot of functions for us. So the top bar is dedicated to Rob's clothing. The bottom bar is where I keep my clothing and I also use these handy drawers to store small items. We added some custom shelves along the side here for Rob to store his pants and socks and underwear. And then along the top, we recently just added this pegboard feature where Rob can keep his uh, gym supplies and normally the camera goes right there. There's so many things that I've really come to enjoy about living in a small space. Mainly, it's a lot cheaper overall. It's less to buy, there's less things to maintain, less things to repair. Uh, and on that note, there's also less space to clean. Cleaning takes less time, meaning there's more time for other things in life. I would add to that that our environmental impact is uh, much lower in a small space. So because we have less to heat and it causes us to buy less, our footprint's lower. The other thing is that we're kind of like cozy people. And <laughs> yeah. so it is really nice to um, be closer and share the space. I know that's not for everybody, but it works for us. I think I've adjusted quite well to a minimalist lifestyle. One area that's been challenging for me though is that I really like style and fashion and uh, clothing takes up space. And we have a closet that is just two and a half feet wide for the two of us. But I've learned how to pick items that will be multifunctional and that I will love for a long time. And that has helped me to make more out of a, a smaller wardrobe. I think the challenges for me are a little different. I like hobbies and things that take up space and or require things, uh, photography, videography, carpentry is one that I've recently gotten into, building things, fixing things around the place. Growing up, I always had a space. I come from a construction family, so there's always a space to do that. Um, but we don't have that here. There's not a space where I can kind of get dirty like you need to when you're fixing things. So I have had to resort to going to our underground parkade at times when uh, people aren't going to be there to cut things and, and make noise. Um, so I've found a solution, but that has been probably the biggest challenge so far. We've had to do so much to make this small space work. And one of my favorite areas is actually our bedroom closet. Even though it is so small, it's one area I'm really proud of because we ended up taking two different IKEA storage closets and cutting them up and making them fit together. Our closet is also a very weird shape. So the whole right side would have been a completely dead area if we didn't cut some of the shelves. I'm really big into bins. I love finding places for them that would otherwise be dead space in a small apartment. So a good example is above our kitchen cabinets, we have a couple of bins that we've placed up there. We'll probably fill that entire space, but for now we've got just a few and it's a really great use of otherwise empty space. 
The other thing that I love that we've done um, as a sort of storage or small space hack is making use of every door we can find uh, for hooks and uh, shelving. It's really been fun looking for ways to sort of Tetris all of our pieces into um, under the sink storage or under cabinet storage just so we can make the most of it. I guess it's been a couple of years now since I first started sharing our tips and experience of living small on TikTok. It's been really great to see how much interest there is in this type of lifestyle. And I'm on YouTube now and my handle is small space big life. I'm sharing and giving people more tips and advice on how they can make the most of their small space. We really tend to think of living small as something that you wouldn't do unless you had no other choice. But in many ways, it can actually be a really great thing. It takes a little bit of intention and mindfulness to get there. But in the end, I think it's been a really great experience for us, simplifying things and helping us to live lighter and just making the most out of life. Subscribe to Exploring Alternatives and if you want to see more small apartment videos, you can check out our playlist with tons of great content. You can also follow Tina and Rob on TikTok and YouTube at Small Space Big Life. Thanks for watching.